Hi, it's Imogen Lamport from Inside Out Style coming to answer your colour and style questions. First in my lucky dip today comes from Jo. I'm finding my classic signature look, or how do I find my classic signature look instead of falling victim to trends and fads? Now, look, a signature look is not for everybody. And this is something that I think you need to be aware of. There are some people who have a signature look but not everybody does. Uh, and so if you are not someone who is drawn to a signature look, don't worry about it. It's not something you might find. No, trends are fine because trends last for between two and five years. I have no issue with falling victim to trends as such, but fads always go just be a little bit careful with. But if you want to have fun with fads, there is nothing wrong with that. Um, I'm wondering here, sometimes it's this, you know, the idea of a signature look or like the idea of a minimalist, minimalist wardrobe appeals to you, but does the reality match up? I know for me, I couldn't do minimalist. It's just not me. I would get too bored and I would actually really dissatisfied and be very unhappy with my wardrobe if it was minimalist. But I know for other people, it works really well. So this is something you need to work out for yourself. Now, if you want to think about a signature look, it could be to take, just, you know, start taking outfit photos of everything you wear for the next few months. You don't want to have lots of photos. Then I would collate them all together and look at them as a big picture. And like, look at your favorites, maybe collate them all, get your favorite ones together, and then have a look and see, is there something in common with them? Is there something that you say, this is what I really like, and this may be my signature? Now, it could be someone like Jill Chivers, where basically it's just a piece of leopard print is her signature, but she wears all sorts of different outfits. They just all happen to have leopard print. You could be set like someone like Anna Wintour, whose signature look is basically a patterned dress. Uh, that's what she wears. She doesn't wear jeans. She doesn't wear pants. She wears patterned dresses. That's a much more uniformed version of a signature look versus Jill's is a much more broad version. It could be that I always have a floral or I always have, you know, like spots or something. I mean, like this is where there's no one way to develop a signature. Um, and a signature doesn't necessarily mean you're going to have a tiny wardrobe. So I think the thing is too, is as far as falling for fads and trends, if you are thinking that those things don't suit you, part of that is getting your style education. It's working out what really works for you because then you know, this is me and you can take from those fads and trends, um, what works, but leave the stuff that doesn't work. Um, so I do think there's a few little things to think about there, whether or not you A, want a signature, um, B, have a, you know, in something in particular that you, you know, kind of some way of dressing or whether you need more options, whether you'd be happy. I mean, one of the things you can do if you're trying to kind of get a little bit more minimalist is even just, you know, kind of limit what you have in your wardrobe, maybe pull out a selection of garments and put them on a rail and just go, I'm just going to wear these for the next three weeks and see how I feel. Um, if you are kind of trying to minimalize down. But I would suggest that part of this kind of falling for fads and trends is this desire for something new and different. So then it's telling me that maybe having more options is better. Having a broader sort of look is better for you. And so therefore you may not want to limit yourself down too much, but getting that style education so you know which are the right colors for you, which are the right shapes and styles, all those sorts of things is going to make those decisions much easier. And you should hopefully then not buy the stuff that doesn't work for you that ends up being a waste.